Oh crikey folks, welcome back. Today we got a special treat for you. We just stumbled upon the rare Czechoslovakian scorpion. Look at her, what a beaut. Let's go see if we can pet her. All right folks, we gotta be real careful. We gotta sneak up on her. Don't wanna alert her to our presence. They're really venomous and dangerous, these Czech Republic scorpions. Let's get a closer look. Oh, watch out, everybody. She's got her defense mechanisms deployed. Her tail is out. We gotta be extra careful this time. All right, I'm gonna just bend down and pet her back real quick. Let her know that I'm harmless. I think she might let me pick her up. Oh, yeah, girl. That's real sweet of you. Pet her. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Whew! That's a venomous scorpion. <sighs> and now we do the review. Hey everybody, welcome back to Midland Outdoors. Today we've got a really cool firearm for you. Uh, this is a pistol. I know it doesn't look like a pistol, it's massive, but you can shoot it one-handed. It's intended for you to shoot one-handed. You throw the SB Tactical brace on there and uh, you can use it as a cheek weld. It's a, got an arm strap on it. And recently, as of earlier this year, you can actually shoulder a brace now. So whatever, ATF rules, you know. Uh, let's go over a couple of the key points of the gun. First of all, we have plenty of rail space all over the place. You can throw red dots on it, flashlights, lasers, the whole nine yards. Um, the sights are super good. They've got anti-reflective ridges in the back of them so you don't get any glare. You've got sling appointment, uh, sling attachment points all over both sides of the gun. And probably one of the coolest things about it is you can slam it home just like an MP5. Guys, let's go ahead and put a few, round, a few rounds through it and uh, then I'll tell you about some more of the features. So I picked this thing up a few days ago, got a handful of mags to go with it, some 30 rounders, some 20 rounders. And uh, so far I've been really impressed. I haven't shot it a lot yet, so you guys are kind of breaking the ice with me on the gun. Um, one thing that's really cool about it is it's really easy to load. These are translucent uh, polymer mags and they have polymer feed lips. I heard on the early versions of the gun they were prone to be brittle and kind of break and stuff. But, but since I've read that they fixed that problem, it's not an issue anymore. So... And so far, I haven't had any issues with the gun, but uh, anyway, I want to tell you guys a little bit about the range we've got set up. We got some new targets. We've got, uh, of course, we got our steel plates and our old propane tank and everything. Uh, we got an old cast iron pan from a video you guys will see eventually if it's not already up. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, click the little bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Uh, we've got some bowling ball spinners, another little spinner thingy. We've got clay pigeon perch stands all over the place so we're just gonna have a good time shooting the scorpion today let's take a few shots with it and uh yeah give you some first impressions let's see we'll go with a steel plate first nice cast iron get out of here yeah and she is empty all right so one of the cool things about this gun is the mag release is right here in front of the trigger guard so you can just whip out the mags real quick without even having to move your hand anywhere at all you whip out a new mag throw it in get to going you've got a bolt release over here just pushes down it's a nice oversize and uh well, I was going to say you could access it with your thumb, but maybe if you were like Tony Robbins or something. But uh, you just throw it down and it's pretty comfy. Um, these don't come with the arm braces. Uh, you can get ones that have like a buffer tube so you can put an arm brace on it. You get the SB Tactical folding arm brace. Outside of that, there's not a lot of aftermarket support. I think a couple companies make magazines. There are a couple companies that make triggers, grips, things of that nature. Um, but really, I mean, CZ did it right all at the factory. I mean, the gun's perfectly usable out of the box. So let's go ahead and put a few more rounds downrange. Let's 
so easy to load. We'll go for these steel pigeons next. Steel pigeons. Clay pigeons. Steel magnolias. All right, let's send some more rounds down range. I'm gonna try and go eight for eight on the steel. God bless America. I'm gonna try and go eight for eight on the clay targets. And then we'll decide where we're gonna put the last two after that. Go ahead and charge her up. Flip the safety off. And let's party. Smoked one, two, Ah, center punched it. Ah, oh, I think I hit the holder. Got that one. Got that one. Yep. Got it. Got it. Got the rest of it. No more juice. <sighs> Gotta give him more juice. Let's send some more lead down range. It's gonna be so much fun to shoot. It's super accurate, as you can tell. And I just wanted to point this out real quick. It has four apertures. Uh, it just kind of rotates. So you have like wide open for close range, all the way down to like a little bitty pinpoint for like super accurate long range shots. And uh, I don't know if I told you guys this before, but it's nine millimeter. So it's got a seven and a quarter inch barrel. So it's slinging the nine millimeter pretty good. So yeah, now let's shoot some more. All right, so I'm gonna try a couple double taps. See how the uh, trigger reset actually Let's go ahead and test that right now. Make sure we're dealing with an empty gun here. Perfect. A little bit of save. So the trigger, I'm like a human gauge. That's probably about eight and a half pounds, maybe eight pounds. Uh, pretty solid. Not a lot of like gum or anything. It's just a smooth pull all the way through. Let's see what the reset's like. So it resets all the way out. All the way forward is the reset. So there is no like short reset but uh we're gonna see what the double taps do anyway do some double taps god the sun's right in my face terrible let's shoot the bowling pin first i'm gonna miss the bowling pin first all right double tap not too bad both on target let's see if i can hit the little spinner Oh, I can't hit it. All right, bowling pin again. I got it that time. If I got enough left, I'll do another double tap. Just kidding. I'll miss the second round. But uh, double tap's actually not bad on this. Like I said, trigger's not too bad. It's a little heavy, a little long, but uh, overall pretty good. You can get aftermarket triggers. There's a couple companies that make them. Uh, let me wipe the sweat out of my face. Guys, it's hot out here. I'm melting. I don't know how Steve Irwin did it. He was outside like all the time, like in the jungles and stuff. And he was just here earlier and he was fine. So, so overall, the CZ Scorpion is a super cool pistol. I mean, if you don't have a arm brace on it, it's still usable. I can't shoot it one-handed worth anything, so I don't even bother showing you guys. Uh, it's a little heavy. But um, if you have a brace on it, you can easily fold it up, stick it under your seat, depending on what kind of car you have. Uh, stick it behind your seat, maybe. Stick it in a backpack. Um, carry it anywhere you're legal to carry a gun. Things of that nature. If you have a permit, if you need a permit. Bah, you guys know me. I'm not a lawyer. Like, what? So, I mean, I've really told you everything I know about it so far. And, uh, I mean, so far, I love it. It's a great gun. Uh, it's a little pricey. I think the gun itself is like seven and a quarter. Mags are really cheap. You can get like 20 or 30 round mags for like 20, 25 dollars respectively. Uh, aftermarket is not that great, but what's out there is fairly priced. The arm brace is a little pricey. They run about 200 bucks. Sometimes you can catch them on sale, but I mean, it's still like an entire third of what the gun costs. But as a combo, I mean, look at that. Just for the coolness factor alone, I mean, this is like straight up PDW style, Black Ops stuff. I think you could actually play with one of these in Black Ops. Yeah? Mike's shaking his head, yeah. So, I don't know, man. I don't really have much else to say about the Scorpion other than it's a super cool gun. Glad we got it. And uh, thank you guys for watching. 
Make sure to check out all of our other videos. We've been filming for a couple weeks now. We've got a whole bunch of stuff coming out. Gun reviews, gear reviews, fishing stuff, hunting stuff, maybe some more camping stuff. I don't know, I'm still a little traumatized from our last trip. But uh, yeah, we got all the stuff you guys like, so keep on coming back, hit the subscribe button, click the little bell so you don't miss any of our uploads. We'll catch you next time.